Our next guest is betting big on blockchain and Bitcoin. He's the CEO of Overstock.com, which is up about 30% since he launched a Bitcoin business. Patrick Byrne with us again. You, sir, <laughs> I don't know where you are right now. I the see mountains. mountains in the background <laughs> there. Uh, you are betting the farm on blockchain, aren't you? You're betting the entire firm on blockchain. Well, I, yes, and I would just, I would amend one thing you said, Stuart, that I, I've been on blockchain for four years. We were the first large, we were the first company over a million dollars to take Bitcoin. We were at a billion and a half. Uh, we're, we're sort of a very, we've has been a very key player in the blockchain revolution and have made some, we picked four years ago some six fundamental investments that we wanted to own and in six specific areas, and we've gone out and made these investments. Yeah. Are you so getting it's all out starting of, uh, to pay off. I, I always think of you as an online retailer. Are you out of the retail business? No, 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 not at all. We love our business, and one of the great, there, there's different ways of seeing it. You know, they, the, there's an old saying they used to say in business, school, in business schools that if the uh, train industry in the 1850s or 1880s had understood it was in the transportation business and not in the train business, they would have become the car industry. Well, mm. that example used to mean a lot more <laughs> a couple <laughs> decades ago. Ex explain to me how Overstock.com makes money out of blockchain technology. How does the money flow to you? Well, uh, the, the main event is what's happened is we created a group called Medici within Overstock. It's like a venture capital group run by a good friend of mine, Jonathan Johnson. And he, it's a venture capital group that has made 11 blockchain investments. Two of them we've spun up in our own company. One of them you may have seen announced a couple of weeks ago, Hernando de Soto, the great Peruvian economist and I, we think we can kind of crack poverty in five years. We've spun up as a, in an incubator with our own shop, that business. We have the leading business on blockchain meets capital markets. It's called T0. The leading business in the world on blockchain meets central banking. It's called bit.com. It's down in Barbados. We own significant chunks, 30 to 80 percent of these different businesses. And then another. So that's how we make money. Those businesses are starting to have tremendous. Okay. T0 is going through an ICO now, a $300 million ICO. When you were on the show last time, the stock was about 65. Now you're at 81. I can't resist a question on the overall market. You know, the old market, you know, the, uh, the regular Wall Street stock market. We're at right. 25,721 as we speak. Are we going to keep on going up from here in the immediate future? Well, I don't know about the immediate future. I think a lot of this is driven by the loose money policy at the Federal Reserve. So a lot of it will end up being, uh, you know, I don't think, it's, I'm not sure it's related to something really substantial. So we'll see what happens when they, if they do turn off the, if they turn off the cheap money. Okay, yeah, so it's surprising. We were expecting, I, I thought you'd get buzzed for that. Uh, not buzzed in the sense of the marijuana or the alcohol buzz, just we have a buzzer on the show. <laughs> if you get technical on us, uh, like mentioning the... Oh, no. No. Okay, sorry. That's the buzzer, okay? I, we resisted the temptation <laughs> of buzzing you, Mr. Byrne, <laughs> because we know you're a viewer of the show. That's it. <laughs> I love your show, Stuart. I love it. Well, come again soon, Patrick. It was good to see you, sir. Thanks very much. You too, sir.